If you're still using solvents for extraction, you're facing a triple threat. Regulatory pressure, consumer demand for cleaner products, and the operational burden of handling toxic chemicals. Water seems like the obvious green alternative, but it's too polar. It can't dissolve the most valuable nonpolar compounds. The breakthrough happens when you apply heat and pressure to enter water's subcritical state. This is where it gets interesting. Temperature becomes your extraction dial. At 250 degrees Celsius under pressure, water's dielectric constant drops from 80 to around 27, essentially matching ethanol or acetone. The result is precise selectivity through temperature gradients. At 150 degrees, you efficiently extract polar compounds like phenolic acids. Crank it to 200 degrees and now you're targeting medium polarity flavonoids. The entire process operates on one principle, temperature controls selectivity. But the advantages extend far beyond just tunable polarity. You eliminate solvent residues and their entire regulatory burden. No more residue testings or compliance paperwork. Process efficiency sees dramatic improvements where traditional solvent extraction might take hours or even days. Subcritical water extraction typically completes in minutes. You can also process wet biomass directly, skipping energy intensive drying steps and preserving heat sensitive compounds. Now, this isn't a universal replacement for every extraction challenge. Rather think of it as a specialized tool where selectivity, purity and speed matter most. Validation through pilot skill testing is essential. Parameters need optimization for each new material. If you're evaluating extraction technologies, reach out to discuss a pilot run with our eh 20 system and see if the advantages can deliver for your throughput, purity, and bottom line.